Hey everyone, this is Veronica Masek with 5-Minute Bookkeeping. And today I am talking to my online sellers and giving you some very important tips for getting your inventory ready for tax time in QuickBooks Online. Happy New Year! You're an online seller, it's tax time, and we've gone from the joy of the holidays now to the dread of dealing with the IRS. And one of the things that online sellers need at the end of the year is a balance for their inventory and, and even a detail of their inventory. Unfortunately though, for most of the online sellers that I work with in my business, um, their inventory is a mess in QuickBooks. So let's take a look at what that looks like. Okay, so I'm in a sample company here and we're looking at the balance sheet for this online seller. And as you can see, we have a balance in inventory. We have another balance in inventory asset. There really should be only one balance and the amount is all wrong. And that's because they have been trying every which way to track their inventory in QuickBooks and it's just not working out. The reason that happens is because uh, in many cases what I see with my clients is that they have connected either Amazon, Shopify, or other um, online channels, Etsy for example, and connecting those directly to QuickBooks and bringing in every single transaction and then bringing in those transactions into inventory. Now I have said in previous videos it, that bringing in every single transaction into QuickBooks is not the best uh, plan um, for tracking transactions in QuickBooks. It's best to bring in summarized transactions. And then I also don't recommend tracking inventory in QuickBooks um, because the inventory functionality in QuickBooks is not very robust. So as a result, as I'm saying here, we're seeing inventory, inventory asset. Many times we'll also see balances in, in opening balance equity because again, for untrained users, you're trying to track inventory in QuickBooks and just don't really know how to go about it. And then it becomes an even bigger mess. And then you're spending all of this time trying to figure it out and trying to clean it up and really not being very successful at it. So what do you do? Your inventory is a mess in QuickBooks. You still have to give your accountant something. So what I've put together is a spreadsheet that you can use. So let's go ahead and take a look. Here's the inventory worksheet and you'll enter the date in which you took your inventory or you counted your inventory. Normally that is at the end of the year. And then you'll fill in your SKUs, descriptions, quantity that you have on hand, your purchase price, so that is what it costs you to buy that inventory. And then the spreadsheet will calculate the total. And then you just continue filling it out and then We'll just take a sum of all of the totals to get your total inventory cost. So it's fairly simple. So I've given you an example and then you have the actual inventory worksheet that you can fill out with your information. So again, just fill in the SKUs, description, quantity that you have, what it costs you to purchase that inventory, and then this will calculate automatically. So once you have that total, then that's the total of the inventory that you need to provide your accountant. And uh, then you want to save this spreadsheet. So make sure that you save it in case you're audited by the IRS, they would want to see this spreadsheet. Now you may still have uh, some cleanup to do in QuickBooks Online in terms of cleaning up those inventory balances. And uh, it does get quite tricky. I'll address that in future videos. But if you have any comments or questions, just go ahead and put that in the comments below. If you're an e-commerce seller and you need help cleaning up your QuickBooks online, also check the description box um, to see how you might get a hold of me. I'm Veronica Wasik with 5-Minute Bookkeeping. If this content is helping you, make sure that you comment, like, share, and subscribe to this channel so you can get all of my latest videos.